In this video, we'll create a responsive animated sidebar navigation menu. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. If we select the icon here in the upper left, we're going to see that the navigation menu slides out where we have all of our items listed here or our links and then we have the X button to close the menu and to slide it back in to the left. Okay, so if we size down our browser's width, we'll find that we have responsive content but it's going to slide outside of the screen here when we slide the navigation menu out so it'll work really nice on mobile devices. Okay, so in order to get started with the tutorial, in the description of the video will be the animated sidebar menu starter files. And I'm going to be using the free program called Sublime Text to build the navigation here. And then I'm also going to have index.html open with Google Chrome as my web browser while we're building it so we can see it develop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the starter files aside here and move over to the blank index.html file here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our first tag. So the first thing that we're going to add in index.html will be a wrapper, basically to wrap all of our content in. So let's go ahead and call it div ID content. And then we can drop down and close out our div. And then inside of this, we'll have a span class that we're going to call slide. So span class slide. Okay. And then we can drop down and we're going to create a link here. So ahref. And then we'll just have a hashtag here because we don't want it to link anywhere. And then we'll say on click equals open and then capital S in slide and capital M in menu. Okay, and then open and close parentheses, quotations, and then drop down and inside of our link here, we're gonna add our icon. So we'll have I class, and this will be a font awesome icon for our burger menu up there in the upper left. So this will be class FAS, space fa dash bars okay and then we can drop down under our span class there and let's take a look at the icon here okay there it is in the upper left hand corner okay so now we'll go ahead and lay out our links here starting with the close menu link with our x icon Okay, so let's say div ID menu, and then we'll also give it a class. We're going to say class nav, N-A-V. And then you can drop down and close out your div, and then we'll have a link here for the close nav button. So we'll just use the hashtag because we don't want to link anywhere else. And then we'll say class close and then on click close slide menu rather than open slide menu okay and then we'll have an i class again for our icon and this one is fa dash times and then close out your i class okay so now if we refresh there we have our X symbol beneath the burger menu. Now let's go ahead and add our navigation links. So if we drop down underneath the A tag, we'll say ahref. And again, I'm not going to link it anywhere, so we'll do the hashtag. And then the first one is home. Okay, and then the second is about. And then the third is portfolio or services rather. And then portfolio. And then we have contact. Okay, so now if we refresh, there we have our navigation menu 
links displaying next to the X. And then lastly, let's go ahead and add our heading down here. Okay, so underneath the div ID menu and class nav, we'll say H1 for heading one. Then I'll just type in responsive animated sidebar menu. Okay, so that's everything for our HTML. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in Google Chrome. And there we have our heading one text. So before we move over to style.css, we're going to create a simple script here for the open and close slide menu links. So we're going to say function open slide menu with the capital S and capital M. Okay, and then we'll say document dot get element by ID. Okay, and then we'll reference our menu ID. And we'll say dot style dot width equals in single quote 250 pixels and then we can drop down to the next line and we'll say document dot get element by ID and then we'll reference the content ID and then dot style dot margin left with a capital L equals 250 pixels. Okay, so we're adding 250 pixels of margin to the left of our content ID when we open our slide menu. All right, so we can go ahead and just copy that same function and we're gonna change this to close sli slide menu and then we'll just change 250 pixels to zero in both cases for when we close the menu. Okay. All right, so that's it for our script. Now let's move over to style.css. And as you can see at the top there, we have a Google font set up for us. Let's go ahead and do a simple reset style here to the body section and change our font family to the Allegria Sans Google font. And then we'll have Sans Serif as our backup font. And next, when our content slides over to the right with the margin left, we don't want there to be a scroll feature to scroll to the rest of the content. So we're going to say overflow x hidden. Okay. And next, let's go ahead and drop down to our nav class. So we'll say dot nav and we'll give it a height of 100%. And then we want it to push all the way up to the left. So let's give it a width of zero. And then we'll say position fixed. So now if we refresh, we'll see them lined vertically off to the left rather than being aligned horizontally. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on and we're gonna say Z dash index one and then top zero and left zero. So Z index one is gonna push it on top of the background. So we're gonna give it a background color of 111, which is a black shade here. And then we'll give it an opacity of 0.9, which is gonna give it sort of a gray shade. And then we'll say overflow X hidden and then padding top 60 pixels. Okay, so now if we refresh, there we have our navigation menu with the background there. And then let's say transition 
0.7 seconds. Okay, so it's going to take 0.7 seconds for it to slide out now. So now let's drop down and let's style our actual navigation links. So we'll say dot nav for the nav class and then a for each one of the links. So we'll say display block. Okay. And then we're going to say padding 20 pixels top bottom and 30 pixels left right and then we'll give it a font size of 25 pixels and let's take away the underline with text decoration none and then we'll give them a gray shade for their color with the hex value CCC okay so now if we go and refresh there we have the links displaying pretty good but we want them to have a hover effect also when we hover over them with a little bit of a lighter color so let's say nav a hover and then we'll change the color to white with FFF as our hex value and we'll say transition 0.4 seconds so it doesn't go right to white when we hover over it it'll, it'll have a little bit of a transition from the gray to white Okay, so next let's go ahead and move our X that we have there to the upper right. So we'll get to that with the close class. So dot nav dot close for the close class here. And we'll say position absolute. And then top zero and right we'll say right 22 pixels to pull it all the way to the right hand side there okay all right and then let's also give it a margin left of 50 pixels and let's change the font size here to 30 pixels to make it a bit larger okay so that's looking pretty close to the original here alright so next let's go ahead and style our burger menu here that opens up our navigation so we'll get to that using the slide class and then the link and we're gonna give it a color of black 000 and then let's change the font size to 30 pixels okay so it's a little bit smaller than the original let's make that 36 pixels All right. Okay, and then lastly, let's go ahead and style the content ID. So we'll get to that with the hashtag content. And then we'll want to add some padding and the transition. So we'll say padding 20 pixels all around okay so that's gonna give us some padding to the top left and then let's add our transition so we'll make it the same time as the nav so transition margin left 0.7 seconds okay so now when we close it should go smoothly for us all right and then lastly let's say overflow hidden so the uh, responsive animated sidebar text doesn't drop down and let's also give it a width of 100 percent okay so there we have it 
And that does it. I want to thank you for sticking around with me through this tutorial. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.